hello, good day. So, welcome to my new YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, bakit hindi ka mag-subscribe at itry mo ang panoorin ng video ko. Malay mo, makatulong ito sa iyo. So, again, this is uh, my new YouTube channel. Kung uh, mapapansin nyo, konti pa lang yung video na nandito dahil bago po ito. So, subscribe na po and then do not forget to hit to click the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa video ko. Thank you. So now let us start. This is Math 6, Quarter 1, Week 3. So here in Week 3, we are going to divide simple fractions and mixed fractions. After going through this lesson, of course, you are expected to divide simple fractions and mixed fractions. In dividing simple fraction, we simply multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction or number. And the reciprocal of the fraction is found by flipping its numerator and denominator. Make it sure that the dividend and the divisor is always written in its fractional form. Simplify or write your answer in lowest term through cancellation method. So that's it for our introduction. Now let's go to the next slide. Let's have an example. Here, our example here is find the quotient of 8 ninths and 2 thirds. So we write that as 8 ninths divided by 2 thirds. So when we say quotient, that is division. So may mga makukulit na bata na dito sa direction find the quotient, itatanong pa kung anong gagawin. So, be reminded that the term quotient means the answer for division. Alright, we have 8 ninths divided by 2 thirds. So, first, change the, divi uh, the division sign to multiplication. So, from division, magiging multiplication siya. And then, get the reciprocal of the divisor only. So, alin ba dito ang divisor? So, here, this is the dividend and this is the divisor. Again, 8 ninths is the dividend and 2 thirds is the divisor. Magulo yata yung aking sulat. 2 thirds is our divisor. So, ito lang yung halagyan mo ng Reciprocal. So, pag sinabi natin reciprocal, babalik ta rin lang natin yung pwesto ng numerator at denominator. So, again, first, yung division naging multiplication at si two-thirds naging three halves. That is the reciprocal. Now and then, let's go to applying the cancellation method. So, kung titignan natin ang given, pwede natin i-cancel out si three at si nine they are both divisible by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. And also, pwede natin i-cancel si 8. At si 2, they are both divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. And now, let's proceed to multiplication of the numerator. 4 times four, 1 is 4. And 3 times 1 is 3. Therefore, the answer is 4 thirds. Or, pwede natin gawin siyang if, uh, mixed number, 1 and 1 third. So, that's it for this first example. Now, let's proceed to the next slide. Alright, we are in learning task number 1. Learning task 1. Said here that 
we need to find the quotient of the given factors below and then write your solution on your in your notebook. So, ulitin natin para malinaw, magbigay pa tayo ng example. Hindi ko na ibibigay itong mga nandito. Magbibigay tayo ng iba pang example. Example, we have 6 uh, 6 tenths divided by 3 fourths. Ayan, gawin ko na rin 3 fourths. First is to keep the first fraction that is the dividend. Next, change divide to multiplication. Change the sign to times. And then, next is to get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, it is 3 fourths magiging 4 thirds na lang siya. And then, proceed to cancellation method or multiplication. Pwede. So, alin ang pwede natin i-cancel here? We can cancel out 4 and 10. They are both divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 6 and 3 are both divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, let us multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. And 5 times 1 is 5. The answer is 4 fifths. So, that is our example. Let's have another example. Let's have our example um, 9 twelfths divided by 5 sixth. Alright? So here, the first is to keep Let's keep the first fraction, which is 9 twelfths. Next is change, divide to times. And then the second, uh, the third is reciprocal, the divisor. And the divisor is 5, 6. It will become 6, 5. Now, let's proceed to multiplication. Kung meron tayong pwede i-cancel, the numbers that we can cancel out are... 6 and 12. They are both divisible by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. Meron pa ba tayong pwedeng i-divide or i-cancel? No more. So here we have 9 times 1 is 9. And 2 times 5 is 10. The answer is 9 tenths. Alright. Now, let's have another example. Actually, here in test learning test one, this is only diagnostic uh, assessment. Ang hindi tinitingnan kung ano yun, ano na yung alam nyo sa division of fractions. Hindi dapat talaga ito uh, idini discuss. Para siyang diagnostic diagnostic test. So anyway, para lang mapadale dahil baka may nakalagay sa uh, weekly home learning planning nyo na students na sagutan ng learning task 1 para lang meron tayong guide. Now, let's proceed to the next page. So, in dividing mixed number by another mixed number, we have to consider the following steps. First, change mixed numbers to improper fraction. So, ayan yung una. Second, get the reciprocal of the divisor. And change the division sign to multiplication. 
third, multiply the numerators and denominators separately. And finally, change improper fraction to mixed number. So that is our example. That is our uh, steps on how to divide mixed numbers by a mixed number. So here we have example number two. What is the quotient if 8 and 3 fifths is divided by 3 and 3 fourths? So, dalawang ang given natin ay parehas mixed number. So, here's the solution. We have 8 and 3 fifths divided by 3 and 3 fourths. So, first, i-convert muna natin sila sa improper fraction. How did we get 43 fifths? So, here we have 5 times 8 is 40 plus 3 is 43. Copy the denominator. And then we have 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is 15. Then copy the denominator. Okay? We are true with this. Second is change division sign to multiplication. So yung division, naging multiplication. And get the reciprocal of our divisor. At yung divisor natin, kunin ang reciprocal so we have 4 fifteenths. And then look for numbers that can be simplified or cancelled out. Parang wala naman. Pwede ba si 5 and 15? No, we, can can we cannot cancel out 5 and 15 because they are both divisor. So walang pwedeng walang pwedeng i-cancelled out. So now, let's proceed. 43 times 4 is 172 and 5 times 15 is 75. Then change the improper fraction to mixed number. So we have 172 divided by 75 is 2. Remainder 22, copy the denominator. So the answer is 2 and 22, 75. Now let's go to the next uh, page. So here we have learning task number two. We are asked to find the quotient of the given fractions below and then write your solution in your notebook. So here in learning task number two, I puro siya mixed numbers, dividing mixed numbers. So magbigay pa tayo ng isa pang example. Let's have, um, let's have the example in number, uh, let's have the given answer number pwedeng sagot pa ito yung number 1 let's answer number 1 answer mali ang aking spell let's answer number 1 So we have 12 and 3 eighths divided by 2 and 3 fourths. So 12 times 8, the answer is 96 plus 3, we have 99 copy 8. The new division magiging, magta natin ang color magiging multiplication na siya. Okay, so lang. So, magiging times na. And then, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3, 11 fourths. So, next is, kopyan pa rin natin si 9 eighths. Then, times reciprocal of 11 fourths is 4 eleven. So, may nakikita ba tayong pwedeng i-cancel? Yes, of course. Meron. Yung 4 at 8, pwedeng i-divide sa 4. Ito ay magiging 1. At ang 8, pag divide sa 4, will become 2. Then, we have 11 and 99 divided by 11. This will become 1. And this will become 9. So, we have 1 times 9 is 9. 2 times 1 is 2 or 
9 divided by 2 is 4 remainder 1. So we have 4 and 1 half. So that's the example here. Let's have another example. Solution. Let's have 5 and 3 fourths divided by 2 and 1 third. Equals. First is to change 5 and 3 fourths. We have five, 4 times 5 is 20 plus 3. 23. Fourths times, binago muna sa division, naging times na. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, 7 thirds. What is next is, copy 23 fourths, reciprocal of 7, 3 is 3 sevenths. So now let's multiply. 23 times 3 is 69 over 4 times 7, 28. Or 2 and 13 over 28. So that's it for our example number 2. Oh, it's your turn to answer to answer number 228. So, ganun ang gagawin. The first thing to do, kapag, kapag ito, mix fraction nyo, i-divide nyo. The first thing to do is to change, change, mix number 2 in proper fraction. Then, number 2 step is, keep or copy the first fraction. Number 3, change division to multiplication. Number 4, reciprocal the divisor and number five do multiplication and lastly express the answer in those terms now let's go to the next learning task all right here in learning task number three Solve the given problems, write your solution, and your notebook. So, ipapaliwanag ko lang yung problem. A cook has 2 and 3 fourths pounds of ground beef. How many quarter pound beef burgers can he make? Now, here again, a cook has 2 and 3 fourths pound of ground beef. How many quarter pound? Quarter pound burgers can he make? So, ang tinatanong, quarter pound. Ilan daw quarter pound? Anong ibig sabihin ng quarter pound? That is, one-fourth. How many quarter pound, pound of burger can he make? So, that is one-fourth. So, parang from two and three quarts, Ilang one quart por ilang one quart pound ng burger ang magagawa. So that means you need to divide. You need to divide two and three fourths by one fourth. Alright. Now in learning number two, a child needs to take one six tablespoon of medicine per day in four equal doses. How much medicine is in each dose? So, kailangan daw ang inumin ng isang bata ay 1-6 tablespoon lang ng medicine sa isang araw. In 4 equal doses. So, gaano daw karami? How much medicine in each dose? So, ibig sabihin, yung 1-6, kailangan mainom niya yun or mahati-hati niya sa apat na doses. Yan, mahati-hati niya sa apat na inom. Tinatanong, gaano daw karami ang bawat inom niya? Nang 
medicine. So here in number three, how many five six cup salt shakers can be filled from twenty four cups of salt? And again, how many five six cup salt shakers can be filled from twenty four cups of salt? So, meron daw twenty four na cups. Ilan daw 5-6 cups ang malalagyan? So, isa sa 24 cups na salt. Cups of salt. E ngayon, ilalagyan niya sa maliliit na lagayan, which is 5-6. Ilang cups daw na 5-6 ang magagamit niya? So, this is our learning task number 3. So, in learning task number four, read each statement in your and in your notebook. Write two if the statement is correct, and if the statement is wrong, write the word or words that make the statement incorrect in your notebook. So, malinaw, madale, wala ka intya ano dito. Sabi lang. Write true kung tama yung sinasabi ng statement. At kung hindi naman tama ang sinasabi ng statement, write the word or ilagay niyo yung word na magtatama dun or magpokorek dun sa maling statement na nakalagay dito sa bawat number. O yan. Nagawin na natin yung number one lang. The denominator of any whole number is 1. So, halimbawa, meron kang whole number na 2. Anong denominator ba niya? 1. May whole number kang 99. Ang denominator niya 1. So, ito ba ay true? Denominator of any whole number, kahit anong number ay 1 ang denominator? Yes, of course. So, ilalagay mo lang ay true. Now, number two, to find the reciprocal of fractions, simply interchange the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction. Is that true? Kung true, ilagay ang true. Kung mali naman, hanapin niyo yung maling word at papaltan. Number three, there is no need to change division sign to into multiplication sign if you are going to divide fraction by another fraction. Through kaya ito, there is no need to change the division sign into multiplication sign if you are going to divide fraction by another fraction. Number four, there is always a need to write the answer in the simplest form. Number five, in dividing fraction, you'll need to get the reciprocal of the given divisor before you multiply the numerators and the denominators. Sabi sa 5, kailangan mo munang i-reciprocal yung divisor bago mo siya i-multiply. Number 6, the reciprocal of 8 and 1 fourth is 8 fourths. Tama kaya yun? The reciprocal of 8 and 1 fourth is 8 fourths. Tama kaya yun? Tama kaya yun? Diba dapat i-change mo muna ito sa improper fraction bago mo siya i-reciprocal? And number seven, the product of three fourths and another fraction, five fourths. The other fraction, hmm? the product of three fourths and another fraction is five fourths. The other fraction is three fifths. Tama ba yun? Now, and number eight, one half pizza will be divided among three pupils. Each pupil receives one cents. Kung hanap daw pa na pizza, pag hinati mo sa tatlo, ang makukuha nila ay na part ay one six. Is it one six? Or one half divided by three is one six. Is it true or false? So, yun lang gagawin sa learning task number four. Now, let's proceed to the next part which is 
solves routine and non-routine problem involving division of fraction and using appropriate problem solving strategies and techniques or tools. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operation of fractions and mixed fraction using appropriate problem solving tools. Now, to check if division is the operation involved in problem solving, you need to know the following terms. We have quotient divided by cat average split into. These are the terms that tells us we need to use division. So now let's proceed. Let's proceed to the next slide. Alright, let's proceed to learning task number two. In learning task number two, Solve the given problems, write your answer in your notebook. Solve nothing in problem. Now let us read problem number one. Mario has 12 boxes of pizza. He cut each pizza into eight. How many pieces of pizza will be there? So sabi, he has 12 boxes ng pizza. He cut each pizza into 8. So, kung meron siyang pizza, hinati niya sa walo. Ang isang pizza, hinati niya sa tigwa walo into 8. So, here. Sorry. Teka lang, magalo yung akin na gawin. Hinati niya into 8. So, kunwari, pantay-pantay yan. How many pizza will be there. So, sa isang pizza, ilang parts? Walo. Get 12 boxes of pizza yung binili niya o yung meron siya. Tinatanong, how many pieces of pizza will be there? So, napakadali. Ano? In number 2, Tony had 5 and 1 half kilograms of sugar. How many cakes can he make, can he bake if he will use one fourth kilograms of sugar per cake. So, kung one-fourth lang yung nagagamit niya sa bawat cake, ilan yung cake ang magagawa niya kung meron siyang five and one-half kilograms of sugar. So, anong word glue natin? Pag may nakita tayong per, yung ibig sabihin ng per is division. Alright? And then, in number three, what is the average? What is the average of two and one thirds and three and one half? Paano ba natin kinukuha si average? So, pag si average, we need to have the addition and then division. Kapag average, ia-add mo muna yung given at i-divide mo kung ilan yung given. Katulad dito, dalawang fraction, i-add mo muna silang dalawa, and then i-divide mo siya sa 2. Kasi 2 fractions ang given. That is average. And in number 4, J will put 4 fifths uh, milligram of salt in each plastic. How many plastics will be need, will he need for 14 milligram of salt. So, ngayon, magpapak siya ng salt sa maliliit na plastic. Which, ang timbang is 4 fifth ang gada isang plastic. Pero, ang gaano kadami yung salt niya is 14 milligram lahat ng salt na hahati-hatiin niya sa 4 fifths. 
ang tinatanong, ilang plastic ang magagamit niya? Kung yung 14 mg, isasali niya sa 4-5 mg lamang. So, ilang plastic ang gagamitin? So, that's it for learning task number 2.